Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now, there are 11 trim levels of the Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm choosing the Summit, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Before we get into that, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and review, build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're in the market for a new vehicle, whether it's this one or something else, download my nuts and bolts, start to finish, ultimate guide on how to buy a new car for the lowest price. It's super good. And I put a link in the description below. Now, like I said, there, there, there's 11 of these things. Let me, let me scroll down here and show you. There's 11 of these things. Um, and they start at $30,000. That's the Laredo. The Laredo starts at $30,000. It, it's your base model, basically. Those are the ones I see running around on the streets a lot. And apparently, four-wheel uh, four drive is not an option on, uh, at this trim level. And there looks to be only four colors and one, one wheel option. So then you've got the Upland. That's, you know, it's a significant jump up, though, because it's this is $30,000, and this goes to $30, $37,000. And now the four... The 4x4 option is not there, so it must be a 4x4. So you're going up seven grand. so surely there's a, there's a lot. But here's why I've chosen the Summit. The Summit is right at the top. I mean, there's the SRT, which, of course, is the, the high horsepower, blah, 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 and, and that's all well and good, but here's why I chose the SRT, or the Summit. I'm sorry. Here's why I chose the Summit, all right? Now, before I say this, there's really no bad Cherokee in the lineup. Picking one's largely about your the capabilities you want and what price points you want to be at, to me. Uh, I went with the Summit because I'm a BMW and Mercedes guy, and so when I look at other manufacturers, no matter what they are, no matter who they are, I, I, I'm looking at their upscaleness. I want, I want to see the best of that particular model, whether it's the most sporty and most sport luxurious or the, just the most luxurious. And the Summit is surely the most luxurious. And so me being a BMW and Mercedes kind of guy, I look at things like BMW X5s and, and, and vehicles like that, which I did do a BMW X5. I'll put a link up right now. And so I feel that the Summit can compete with vehicles like that. The X5 or an M, or, yeah, an X5 or a, a nice X3, I should say, perhaps, or um, uh, Cadillac XT5. I mean, it's not necessarily, I'm not necessarily saying these cars are all in the same class together, but this is just the way I'm looking at it. So we know we want this car in a 4x4. Four four. So by taking this all wheel drive, that's going to put us at 54,000 all in. Your 18 city, 25 highway. The Pentastar V6 is throwing down 295 horsepower. But check this out. The Grand Cherokee Summit sets the standard as the most luxurious vehicle in its class. It features superior comfort and convenience with a 19-speaker Harman Kardon premium audio system, exclusive exterior, and more. Here's all the colors. Good colors. Velvet red pearl. Uh, bright white. Kind of attractive. I usually go for the whites. But what's this one down here? Ivory tricoat. Right? That's going to be the more pearl. So I like that a little bit better. Check out the chrome accents down here. This is a super good looking vehicle, right? You're getting a, and, and I guarantee you, you're getting a lot for $54,000. And then you've got what? The billet silver. You got a diamond black and then a true blue walnut brown. Everybody's got to throw a brown in these days. The granite crystal is pretty nice too. What do we got for wheel options? So you got these 20 by eight inch wheels, the polished aluminums. And then you got these other ones, the platinums. Uh, that picture is not a good rendering, unfortunately. Uh, exclusive interior. What's this all about? Uh, the 2018 Grand Cherokee Summit features a distinctly styled front fascia and 20-inch polished aluminum wheels. I'd probably just leave the standard wheels. The available Platinum Series Group style uh, takes style to new heights. <laughs> okay, well, maybe I'll look at that. Look at the nice house they got in the background. See? They're trying to compete with the BMW and the Mercedes, okay? That's that's where they're at with this this one. This is why I grabbed it. I love that stuff. The 19-inch Harman Kardon, you know it's throwing down. Uh, in the 4x4 trim, it is standard on our Summit. You can't, even on the SRT and Trackhawk versions, you can't, it's not even. Only on the Summit is it standard, right? This is upscaledness. This is why I've chose this one, right? Precisely tuned to maximize the interior acoustics of a 360 music experience. All right, good deal. 
um, signature leather wrapped interior package. All right. Uh, the available interior package features ultra premium Laguna leather trim. It includes uh, leather trim seats and leather wrapped upper and lower door panels, center console, and glove box. Look at the speakers in the in the door right there. I mean, this is the one. And you're not. This probably won't even be sixty thousand dollars out the door. What's this about? Lane sense, lane departure warning with lane keep assist. Sounds like the whole suite. So we're doing four by four. Let's first find out. We know it's standard on all. It's all standard on all these high-level uh, models, including ours, of course. Um, what does it do? Um, it monitors a vehicle's position within lane boundaries, right? Within the center of your lane, right? Presumably. During an unintentional lane drift, warns, warnings will activate. And if the driver does not respond, the system will move the vehicle back into its lane. So it's an active system. It will steer you back in the lane if you don't take action after its warning. So I like active systems, and everybody's kind of going to active systems because what's the point of just getting a beep, right? Do something about it then. All right, so 11 models. We know that. There's some exterior shots. That looks like the high-performance model there. That's our model there. That looks like the Summit. Uh, that's the Summit. even says so on the seats. Um, that's not the Summit. And that looks like, what is that? Track Hawk. That's not the one. Um, so we got a few photos here. Uh, I've already clicked this link. It takes you over to stuff that talks only about the high performance Track Hawk. Okay. It only talks about the Track Hawk. Uh, and then there's some interior or some photos of that. Uh, we kind of saw those photos already. Um, we don't need to explore the exterior. Um, we've got some good photos. We know what this thing looks like, right? We do. Um, Purpose-built luxury, the 2018 Grand Cherokee interior has plenty of rugged yet refined interior charm. Soft touch points and quality materials and craftsmanship enhance the design throughout the cabin, making it a true retreat for the senses. You know what we can do, though? We could go back and just read that little column right there. It's easy to recognize. So this was what? Exterior. The confident, elegant exterior design excludes strength from every angle. From Laredo, Laredo to Trackhawk, Grand Cherokee offers premium exterior styling treatments including a modern front grille and fascia and available features that include daytime running lamps and LED fog lamps. Now, we're going to look at all the standard features, and we know that ours is going to be well-equipped. Uh, well, all the way equipped, like the Uconnect systems. Um, choose either the advanced available Uconnect 4C nav. Um, surely ours is going to have the top of the line. That includes Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and then here's the summit. They're showing the summit right here because there's those seats with the uh, with their uh, panoramic roof. They call it dual pane instead of panoramic, right? That's just the extra big sunroof. And then there's that Harman Kardon 19 inch speaker system. Um, capabilities, right? Nothing to click here. Oh, look at the illuminated um, cup holders. And then looks like you've got some selectable drive modes down here. Sand, snow. There's Probably a couple on the other, maybe a couple on the other side. Four wheel low. You got a whole bunch going on. Choose the available Quadra Track, Quadra Drive 2, 4x4 system for excellent road gripping performance, right? And that's where you get this whole traction management system that demonstrates their ability to tackle tough conditions with five modes auto, sport, snow, sand, mud, and rock. Or test the SRT, right? They got their own set of. Uh, modules, right? Everything looks good though down here. The fit and finish looks really nice. Here's the standard engine. Let's learn more about that. This is so the engines. Here's where we are. <laughs> Skip over all of that, and we are down here. The 3.6 liter V6, uh, the Pinterstar V6, right? Makes it what was it? 270 ish horsepower. We'll check the specs. All weather capability. Every Grand Cherokee be can be equipped with a proven 4x4 system. Uh, fuel saving technology, right? This the V6 fuel saving technology cuts fuel flow and turns off the engine when the vehicle breaks to a stop, right? That stop start technology. I think you might be able to turn that feature on and off. I know you can on like BMWs and Mercedes. Uh, safety and security. What do we have? The new frontier of active safety and security. The uh, Grand Cherokee is equipped with a network of systems to help maintain control and provide assistance automatically when your vehicle loses traction. All right, let's check. Um, Let's check the features. Well, let's make sure we get to the bottom here. Uh, what are some of these uh, safety and security features? Parking assistance. 
available parallel and perpendicular parking assist. Then you've got full speed forward collision warning with active braking, right? Like I said, I might not read all these paragraphs. So if you want to make sure you get that in, if I'm moving too fast, all you need to do is just pause the video momentarily. You'll be able to read that and then we can move forward. Uh, it's got some convenience features on the key fob. So it's got uh, that enter keyless go unlocks the doors when you pull the door handle. So you could keep the key fob in your pocket, but you can also use it to lo unlock, lock the doors. Looks like that's to start the engine by pressing that twice, press and hold twice, I think, or maybe just press twice, uh, open the trunk, and then your little panic button there. Okay, package is cool. Maybe we don't need to go to features because this page is going to tell us everything we really want to know. Let's get down to ours. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, these are available packages you can get. All right. The available Trailhawk Luxury Goop takes you to the next level of comfort and convenience. This package is only available on the Trailhawk. All right. Well, we don't need to worry about that. Skid Plate Group uh, helps protect your underside from damage on and off road. It includes three millimeter stamped steel skid plates for the front suspension. All right. That's cool. Uh, and so that includes features front skid plate, fuel tank skid plate, transfer case skid plate, and underbody skid plate. They got you covered. The luxury group, what's that all about? That's surely already going to be in our. So what's this? The 560-watt, 9-watt speaker, ventilated front seats by Xenon. We've got to have something better than that in the Summit because we have a 19-speaker system. Uh, but depending on what where you're at, that, that's a nice group. Right, the luxury group sounds like a nice group. The big sound system, the U Connect uh, with the nav, the bi zine and headlights, the automatic high beams, uh, the trailer tow group. Uh, this allows you to tow up to 7,200 pounds confidently. You got a class four receiver hitch, seven in four pin, seven and four pin wiring harness, heavy duty engine cooling, rear load leveling suspension, and a 180 amp alternator. Then you got the Jeep Active Safety Group. Right now, this is now this is one, and that includes what full speed warning, collision warning with active braking. You got adaptive cruise control, cruise control with stop, uh, so that can stop the car. Uh, lane sense, lane departure warning with lane keep assist, parallel or perpendicular parking assist, rain sensing windshield wipers, advanced brake assist, and then in the platinum series group, you get the twenty inch platinum aluminum wheels. You get body color platinum front and rear fascias. That's the bumpers. Uh, body color door handles and mirrors and the platinum roof side rails. Do they show a picture of that? Yeah, platinum. So they've got this little platinum finish. Okay, so those are packages that are available. Then the Jeep Wave. This is kind of cool. It's interesting. Select vehicles, and the Summit is one of those. You can be sure. Are automatically enrolled in the Jeep Wave program. It's a program designed to provide select Jeep brand vehicle owners with dedicated 24-7 owner support and a special package of benefits designed to enhance their ownership experience and thank them for their patronage. That's kind of cool. Uh, is there anything else? No, there isn't. So let's, is there anything over in features we want to take a look at? Let's take a look at the exterior really fast. We want to be thorough in this review. Um, I'm just going to kind of scroll around uh, and I'm looking for stuff that's notable. Right, wheels and tires. Uh, we kind of know what we're getting on ours. We kind of know what we're getting on ours. We're getting some 20 inch wheels, and they're like, they're not the heritage wheels. Uh, take in the view. Everybody can breathtaking scenery. They're talking about the command view, dual pane, uh, sunroof. That's, that's standard equipment on the summit. Uh, signature headlamps. This is cool. I love LED technology. I love the LED daytime running lights. Almost everybody is throwing it in as standard equipment these days. Here's what they look like on. Here's what they look like off. And here's what it looks like with everything on. And I guess that's at nighttime, right? Super with the fog lights. All right. That's pretty cool. Uh, finishing touches, sophisticated details like the available Platinum Series Group and distinctive LED taillights give the 2018 Grand Cherokee standout exterior style. There's that Platinum Series Group. We already read about that. And then the LED tail lamp. Surely that's all. Ex uh, Standard stuff on our summit. If we go over to the interior, uh, there's a good shot of the uh, summit. Oh, look at that. Paddle shifters back there. I love the diamond quilt. It's very upscale feel in here. I hope it doesn't disappoint when you sat in the car. So here's the setup. Um, you've got Laguna leather, and you can get that in a few different colors. So this is Argentina. 
that's attractive. But then you lose the diamond quill. If you but the, the diamond quilt only comes in that Laguna. That's that's a separate package altogether. These are the regular colors you could get with the su with the summit. And then you can get the Laguna leather package, which we are all about. We are all about the Laguna leather package. Um, so this is our their most premium seating package. Rich ski gray leather with indigo piping. That's a shade of blue. And sky, uh, yeah, sky gray or ski ski gray accent stitching create a luxurious uh, driving compartment. Ventilated seating surfaces and heated are, are heated for cold weather and cooled for when temperatures rise. So it's a pretty attractive cabin. It's a pretty attractive cabin. I don't see any side window shade uh, uh, things right there. So hmm, might have missed the ball on that. But you connect and Sirius XM Guardian. Uh, what do we got here? You connect systems. Everybody's got a Uconnect system. Everybody, and, and there's lots of different subscriptions, apparently, because I've talked about and seen all kinds of them. Um, and you normally get like a three or six month subscription for free when you first buy the car. And so what do they've got? They've got uh, their Uconnect system um, has Bluetooth streaming audio. Awesome. Uconnect voice command and easy to use 8.4 touchscreen uh, featuring navigation and Siri. Uh, they have Apple CarPlay integration. Uh, do they have Android Auto? Yes, they have Android Auto. And then Sirius XM Guardian. Not Guardian. And I already just <laughs> I already started talking about the Guardian stuff, so I don't have to go into that. But there's that. So what does this do? Well, that's something a little bit different. Sirius XM Guardian connects you to your vehicle in ways you've only dreamed of. Oh, I thought that was something else like interesting. Uh, with greater remote access and control... Um, help on your drive is there when you need it from roadside assistance to navigation. So it does a whole bunch of stuff. I can see there's lock, unlock the door, start the vehicle, sound the horn. You know, it's still at the end of the day, standard stuff that like every man, everybody's got an app now, right? Every manufacturer's got an app that does this stuff, right? Not to knock it, not to bring it down, but everybody's got the app, but it's good to see that they too have the app. All right. So here's our summit. Um, and we've already seen this shot of this interior. There's the shot of the panoramic roof. They hadn't showed us the shot of the back seats really good. So here's a nice shot of the back seats. Um, and so this is the leather-wrapped interior package. It's super luxurious. Uh, every touch point, the seats, the instrument panel, door panels, center console, and glove box. Standard real metal interior package kicks up the style with an aluminum lithograph shifter bezel. An aluminum painted steering wheel bezel right yeah we saw that they're talking about this down here and then i guess they're talking about this bezel that's around the steering wheel here pretty cool uh personalized instrument cluster right look at that that's led there it's got to be the standard custom customer configurable seven inch driver information information digital cluster display that is a mouthful you got to take a pause and a, and a breath there uh lets you tailor your personal settings and graphics the full color display integrates detailed navigation, if equipped, uh, radio information such as song, artist, and station, a full speed gauge, the available select terrain traction management system, the available quadra lift suspension system, and well, more. That's cool. Quality is key. Yes, it is. Uh, look at that. They have dashboard inlays, new real metal trim. Dashboard inlays. Look at the ambient lighting. Very nice. Every, not everybody, but a lot of manufacturers. Ever since Mercedes and BMW got up on that, everybody's following suit. Everybody's following suit. Take note of the color on this. Look at this bronzes color with the wood. That is really attractive. That is just really attractive. This is on the summit. That's open pour wood. I was just doing, I think, a Mercedes S560 that had open pour wood. I'm going to put a link up. And I think that's the only vehicle that I've done. And I've done a lot of videos that's had open pour wood. And you can best believe that the S560 is a lot more than this. All right. Uh, I'll, let's move forward. Premium auto experience. Uh, the Harman Kardon. Yeah, they've got two systems. We're getting the 19-inch system or the 19-speaker system. Oh, look at that. The 19 speaker system. Now this is the summit shown with the uh, the rear seat, the rear DVD entertainment center. Right there, it is right there. The rear DVD entertainment center. 
And that's available. That is not standard. They don't care who you are. Now that gives you what? Let's 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 check this out. Feature availability. Now, this system can play standard DVDs as well as Blu-ray, but can it stream like YouTube and Netflix and all that? Because if it can't do that, I think in, in the year 2018, it's a mute point. Honestly. Honestly. Otherwise, you got to carry around all that stuff. So it's cool if you can stream. All right. All weather comfort. Uh, heated seats. Ventilated seats. Standard on the Summit, probably. And heated steering wheel. Uh, storage. Folding seats. Look at that. You put your whole mountain bike in there. Uh, and then you've got that compartment a lot of space behind that second row uh convenience uh when your hands are full the last thing you want to do is fumble with your keys keyless enter and go and the available power lift gate all right it's available probably standard on the summit but we're going to find out we're certainly going to find out that's cool though uh everybody's doing that but it's good that they do too uh there are lots of clever spot spots to store your stuff throughout the cabin a center console a covered center stack bin driver and passenger side cubicles map cubbies and a carnivorous or cavernous, I'm sorry, glove box help you keep things in order. Okay. Uh, capabilities? Yeah, let's find out about the capability really fast. I mean, I'm probably not going to ever go off-road, but you never know. Uh, maintain traction. For off-roading, traction is key. You want every wheel working to drive the vehicle forward. Jeep brand 4x4 systems help to ensure the right tire has traction when needed. Okay. Uh, uh, ward water fording. When driving off-road, you'll most likely come across water obstacles. Your trail-rated Jeep Grand Cherokee 4x4 features high air intakes and special water sealing to help you get through. Okay, cool. Good thing we found out about this, the capabilities. Tight turning. Off-road is a lot about getting through tight spots. Maneuverability is the, is the ability to steer around or crawl over obstacles like rocks or logs. There's the wheelbase, there's the overall length, and the turning radius. Uh, articulation, right? That's the movement of the suspension. Uh, good articulation allows the wheels to travel or flex. The more up and down travel the wheel has, the better it can maintain contact with the terrain to provide traction, right? Ramp travel index, 394, right? Ground clearance. Good ground clearance helps you pass over obstacles. It's measured at three points, approach angle, breakover angle, and departure angle. And here are those specs. Those are the specs. Uh, the Trailhawk, we're going to kind of skip over the Trailhawk. Uh, I don't know if ours has tow hooks. We probably do. They might not be colored red. Anti-glare hood. Well, they're only talking about the Trailhawk. I'm sorry. That's only Trailhawk specific stuff. But we probably have tow hooks anyway. Um, <clears throat> All-terrain capabilities. The Jeep Grand Cherokee combines the, the, the select terrain traction management system with three available 4x4 systems, Quadra Track 1, Quadra Track 2, and Quadra Drive 2 to help you dominate the trails. Learn how Jeep, Grand, uh, Jeep brand engineers are pushing the boundaries of performance. So select, train, select terrain, must be a tongue twister for me, select terrain traction management system. Okay, so that has settings that are what? Five settings, snow, sand, auto, mud, rock, okay? Very cool. Gave us a nice close-up photo. You can see illuminated cup holders. Here's Quadra Track or Quadra Track One and Two, and that's available. And what does this do? All these are these four by four systems are always engaged. There are no buttons to push or levers to pull, so you can get all weather capability and peace of mind. The Quadra Track Two adds a four by four low range for off-roading, which provides rock crawling expertise. Okay, so that's the Quadra Track Two. Okay. So we want to make sure I probably want we want to make sure that we probably get all all of this because I mean at the end of the day this is what Jeep's all about this is the best of the brand I want to make sure that we get all of this whether I'm going to use it or not I'd rather have it and not use it than need it and not have it so this is the available Quadra Drive Drive Two and that adds an electronic limited slip differential in the rear um, management system this allows 100% of the available torque to be sent to one rear wheel okay. That's awesome. All right, we got to get all that. Hope the Summit probably already comes with it all, but if it doesn't, we'll be getting it. Uh, quadra Lift Air Suspension System. The available Quadra Lift Air Suspension raises your vehicle's ground clearance up to a maximum of 10.8 inches. You can also lower it 
1.6 inches for easy entry, exit, and loading. It has five distinct driver selectable height settings for different driving scenarios park, aero, normal, off road one, and off road two. Uh, so let's we can look at the settings. So there's normal, there's off road, off road two. Wow, that's tall. Park, bam, in the dirt. And arrow. This is probably how you're going to be riding on the street. Boom. Riding like that. Nice. Uh, Off-road pages. Grand Cherokee models that feature the available Uconnect 4C nav system with the 8.4-inch touchscreen include personalized off-road pages. Helpful via di vehicle diagnostics, including wheel articulation, transmission temperature, suspension height settings, and drive modes. All help to provide an optimized off-roading experience. So there's select terrain... Vehicle dynamics, you can see the screen changing, suspension, and you got some gauges. Uh, the engines, what do we got for engines? There's the Pentastar, that's our bad boy right there. The 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine offers impressive efficiency and fuel saving technology. The engine starts, restarts when the brake pedal is released, right? It's got that stop start technology, 295 horse, I think I said 280 or something. And 260 pound-feet of torque. Okay. Um, Fuel-saving technology, right? We kind of already that's gone over that. Uh, it could tow up to 7,200 pounds. I'm sorry, 6,200 pounds with the Pinnastar, right? When you get any of the V8s, that's when they can go up to that. So you're 1,000 pounds down on the Pinnastar. But that works for me because I don't usually, I, I don't plan on towing anything. I haven't towed anything. You might want to tow something. If you do, uh, I guess it's got to be under 6,200 pounds. You can tow a trailer. It's not as big a trailer. Uh, master off-road challenges, uh, right? We kind of, I'll say, so they've got uh, the guided control in difficult off-roading situations. Hill descent control, uh, the tech steep declines and automatically applies brake pressure for consistent descent speed. And then those hill start assist, that lets you tackle sharp inclines by holding the brakes, preventing rollback. And then there's select speed control, which allows the driver to travel at slow speeds on level ground, uphill or downhill, without actively controlling either the throttle or the brake. Now, see, that, that's cool. That's, that's super cool. Um, the Jeep Grand Cherokee features the three available systems design. All right, so is that standard stuff? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I'm glad we checked that out. Now, performance might only be, yeah, this is only about the... Um, the high performance like SR, the Trackhawk. So we're not going to get into that. We're going to skip on over to safety and security. And then we'll go check the specs really fast. I just want to find out what the, the engine specs are like when it makes its horsepower at what RPM, what RPM it makes its, uh, its, its, its torque. That's it, really. And then we're out of there, and then we'll go build. Okay, so over 70 available safety and security features, passive safety and security uh, you got front and rear crumple zones, help absorb energy and redirect it away from passengers. You got seven airbags, multi-stage driver and front passenger airbags, side curtain airbags, front seat mounted side airbags, and driver side inflatable knee bolster airbag. All right. This is all to help you stay safe and secure. Um, active safety and security. Active means it's going to do something. Driver assist systems alert and aid you. They help you in challenging driver situations. Four collision warning with active braking and adaptive cruise control with stop are just two of several available systems. Okay, there's a blind spot monitoring is shown, right? If somebody's over in your blind spot, you're going to get this little icon or something in the mirror. That's usually how most manufacturers do it. So you know that somebody's sitting in your blind spot, either over here or on the other side. That's why they got that side lit up too. Um, then you've got the lane departure if you're drifting around. Then you've got the four collision warning. So to hopefully not rear in somebody. All right. Uh, then you got what? Parking assist. So you got automatic park parallel and perpendicular parking. You've got uh, park assist systems. All right. Let's go back to this really fast. Now, this system with parallel and perpendicular park, it can practically park itself. Once it identifies a suitable parking space, the system detects the driver, directs the driver with audible instructions that also appear in the driver instrumentation cluster that's like down in the center right in between the speedo and stuff uh, then there's the park assist system uh, this system uses sensors located in the front fascia and bumper that determine 
the relative distance to a nearby object. So that way you don't bump into junk. Backup camera and trailer view. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Um, convenience features, right? Keyless enter and go. SOS call and assist buttons. And then the Uconnect and Sirius XM Guardian, right? That's their app to like lock and unlock the car. Da, 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 da. All that stuff. Cool stuff. Um, valet mode. Tell us about it. When valet mode is activated on the Trackhawk, okay, we don't need to know about that. It looks like it tuned down the engine, though. Reduced power is reduced. So the valet won't be hot riding around that much. He'll, he can still crash it, but he, he won't have to. Maybe he won't be going as fast when he does it. Uh, additional safety and security features. Tell us about them. Electronic stability control coordinates electronic roll mitigation, the anti-lock brakes, and all-speed traction control to help maintain control. These systems monitor steering input and vehicle motion. When a difference is detected between your intended path and the vehicle's actual path, the brakes are applied and the engine torque is reduced to help your vehicle maintain direct directional control. So, you know, you got, you got, you got, these days, you got a lot of stuff helping you be a better driver. Okay. That's, that's the takeaway. Got a lot of safety helping you be a better driver and keep alive, stay alive. All right. Now let's go over to the summit. Okay. Now here's our summit. And all, like I said, all I really wanted to do was check out the engine and mechanical, and they might not even tell us what I what I want to hear, or what I want to know. Uh, no, they don't. They don't even they don't even give me those specs. So we're not even going to worry about it. Let's 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 go to the building price. Okay, here we are. We're at the building price. I got out of there. They didn't give us what we wanted to know. They didn't tell us. All right. So this starts at fifty thousand nine nine five. You know they always play with these internet prices. Oh wait a minute. We want it to be a four by four. So their internet price is fifty three thousand. The MSRP is fifty four thousand. Uh, let's look at the features. It says that it's got that three point six liter. We know that engine. It's got the twenty inch wheels. It's got an all new interior metal package. It's got the high performance audio system. It's got the available signature leather package. That Laguna leather with the with the diamond quilting. That I call it diamond quilting. Uh, that's that that package. It's got the available right. Available means it's an option. Quadra 2 system, cruise control, blind spot monitoring, all that good stuff that we want and need. Uh, it's got a 615-mile range, can tow 6,200 pounds, uh, 25 on the highway. Let's build it. Let's build it. Okay. Uh, oh, they have a diesel? There's a diesel option and a Hemi option? I didn't. Wow. We're getting the Hemi. Let's let's find out about the diesel really fast. Really, really, really fast. They don't even tell us enough information. Okay, what, what's the diesel option? Uh, the three-liter Eco Diesel V6 engine delivers an efficient, powerful, and responsive driving experience. It gives you a 220 amp amp. You get a bigger rear axle. You get a 345 rear end. Uh, boy, I wish I could know about the power. I don't know about the power on these engines. I don't know about the power on these engines. So you know what? I think I want to go with the Hemi. Yeah, give me the Hemi. It's it's the 5.7, 360 horse, 390 pound feet. I didn't even know it was an option. Yes, I want the Hemi. Now we're really cooking with gas. Now I'm excited. So to be added was the 8-speed transmission. To be removed is the 345 rear end and all that other stuff. And now our vehicle tow rating is going to go up as well. We're going to accept those changes. Right now we're looking at 56,735, but we've got the big motor now. And we've got this other transmission they want it to fit. Do we need the engine block heater? I say nay. Nay. We don't need that. Okay. Uh the Platinum Series Group. All right. Now what's the details again? Break it down for me. The 20 inch, 8 inch, 20 by 8 inch uh platinum aluminum wheels, the body color uh platinum front fascia and rear fascia. Remember, that's the, the bumpers. The body color door handles, uh, exterior mirrors, the sills with platinum. You get it's it's an appearance package to the nines. That's what it is. It's an appearance package to the nines for a thousand bucks. Give it to me. I'll take it. Right? They're gonna take off those other wheels. Give me the other wheels. Let's do it. Boom. Right now, these wheels look a little bit different, but I bet you they look good in person. I'm just gonna go with it. We need this skid plate group. I need to protect the underbody. I need to protect the underbody, front suspension skid plate, fuel tank skid plate, transfer case skid plate, underbody skid plate. $300, basically. You know I'm all about it. For $300, you can't be chintzy. You got to do that for 300 bones. 
the rear seat dual blu-ray i'm gonna skip it because i bet you you can't like stream to it so i'm, I'm not about it I, I think going forward that stuff's a dinosaur it's a dinosaur to me i want this leather i want this leather package it's five grand but i don't care it's it's hot and it, and it, it really makes this thing exclusive it really makes it exclusive uh, five grand, you're getting you're getting all the upscaleness that 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 uh, that Jeep can offer. All right, so we're taking that. Uh, let's go to exterior. And let's choose a color. What do we want? I think I want this ivory tri coat. I think, but I did like that granite crystal. I'm like really leaning to these these darker grays these days. Uh, but what about the billet? Let's go with this. Let's go with the ivory tri coat. I think it's a good call. That's upscaleness to me. Uh, let's go to interior. What do we got? All right, we've already uh, chosen our premium Laguna leather seats for five grand. We already had the UConnect 4C with 8.4 inch display. We so that gives us the off road pages and all that stuff. Uh, the sound system components, the single disc remote CD player. Uh, we don't need that. Again, that's a dinosaur. Additional interior features, dark seating. We don't need that because that's going to take us out of our seating group that we already have. So we're solid. We're solid. Let's go over to the summary. So you know what we got. We have a $63,000 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit that easily is as good as a BMW X5. Easily as, as good as a BMW X5. Easily. Easily. Uh, all standard features. We don't need to look at that. Uh, yes, I can print this off. So 63,615, we're all in. We've got all the goodies. If you want a top tier vehicle, but you don't want to you don't want to pay a European price tag, boy, this one this one might be worth looking at. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you made it to the end, you're super awesome. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful